Hey guys, Jessica here with another toy review, and today I'm reviewing the Star Wars Deluxe Black Series Clone Trooper. This is my first six-inch figure that's detailed and and modern, so I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, we'll use my normal background, but it's a movie set that's about to be filmed for my stop motion animation series, so let's share space. This guy comes with a stand. This part flips over so it can look like a walkway. It says Star Wars on it. I find that his feet don't really stay on there very well, though. It sort of does, but it doesn't seem to really give the support that I want it to. And because the other one's all the way over here, I can't, like, double, you know, stick him to it. It's alright. But it works. I just wish it fit a little bit better. We've got a lot of points of articulation, and a lot of them. But uh, I guess I'll cover the weapon effects first. We've got this blaster effect. I really enjoy that. Just kind of plugs on to the rifle there. Got an explosion effect small, an explosion effect large. Uh, these definitely were the major reason why I got this, because I want to use them in my stop motion animations. So you already saw the heel. He doesn't turn in the knee. That's okay, because you don't really want to turn in the knee. You'll hurt yourself. But there's a nice bend there. It's a double joint. We've got a nice amount of movement in the hips. The waist is pretty good. Look at that. Yeah. The arm is where we run into the most issue. And that seems to be largely because of the armor getting in the way. The elbow is double jointed as well. So you really gotta love that. I remember when the modern G.I. Joes came out and I wished that they had joints like that. Now we've got six inch uh, G.I. Joes coming out. You know, the same scale. It seems to be pretty much what the new action figure standard is. So we've got a joint here and a ball joint head. So there's just so much articulation on these guys. I see why people are collecting them and why they like them. I, these ones stand out, this deluxe version, because it's got blast you know, damage on his chest and arm and head. Looks good on the back, too. Oh, look at that. I totally missed that. Oh, yeah. Now I wish I had like some other weapon I could carry, like a bazooka or... You know, <laughs> something else. The figure's really nice. It's really detailed. The head's very detailed. It's very enjoyable. Um, I wish that our three and three quarter inch figures could have that much detail crammed into them. Maybe they will someday because I, you know, am a three and three quarter inch G.I. Joe collector and I collect other figures in that category. The six inch figure, um, like I said, I bought this for the explosion effects, which I really like. You can take a dollar store candle light that's battery powered and stick that in there, and it like flickers and glows. It's really cool. I'll actually be selling this guy in my eBay store, but I thought, why not review him? Because I do have a toy review channel. And, you know, it's a very, very enjoyable figure. Very nice. You could totally see someone trying to collect all these six inch figures. My only the, the downside is like you're not gonna have six inch vehicles to go with them. You know? <laughs> or anything like that. Building a diorama for your six inch figures is gonna be so much harder. But they are very, very cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. I'll see you guys next time.